Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And one of the most frequently asked questions is whether one should get a walk with or without non-stick coding. Uh, what are the trade-offs uh, in this selection? Uh, almost everywhere you look, uh, most modern cookwares are coated with a layer of uh, non-stick coating. Uh, this preference is understandable because most people would not want their food to stick to the surface of their cookware. And I would say majority of the time, this works very well. Because in most traditional cooking, the cooking temperature doesn't have to be very high, and there's really not a whole lot of stirring uh, during the cooking process. However, the situation is quite different uh, when you do stir-fry, because in general, a stir-fry is perceived to be cooked at a high temperature, and it also involves constant stirring. Uh, so in this video, I would like to uh, describe the pros and cons of selecting uh, either one of this type of cookware. Uh, there is a general consensus that walks with uh, natural surfaces are superior uh, than walk with non-stick coating. Uh, however, this is not always the case because under some circumstances, a cookware with non-stick coating is actually is better. In this video, I'm going to discuss the pros and cons of walks of these two different types, and under what circumstances one type is better than the others. And so first, let me consider the situations where walk with non-stick coating is actually superior. If you do not ever want to worry about foods sticking to the bottom of your walk, then the walk with a non-stick coating is definitely a better choice. Here is an example that you can see that when you fry an egg, uh, you have no problem having the egg ever stick to the bottom of the wok. And secondly, uh, if you are not in a hurry in cooking your dishes, uh, as well as uh, uh, you are not going to use high heat, uh, then the wok with non-stick coating will work very well. For example, when I cooking the egg, I keep the setting of the stove at medium. Now, this takes a bit longer to cook the egg than if I would have been cooking it with my uh, standard steel wok because I can leave the temperature at high in that case. Now, even though you are cooking a little bit slower, uh, there is an advantage uh, for uh, cooking at a lower temperature. Uh, in this case, you will generate less oil film. And this situation uh, turned out to be perfect for my friend Lorraine because she lives in a retirement community. And in this case, she wants to generate minimum amount of oil film. So if you are not in a hurry and you are willing to cook uh, on a stove with a setting from medium uh, to low, uh, then a wok with a non-stick coating will work very well. A heat example that uh, I cook uh, an omelet in the wok with non-stick coating, uh, giving time, uh, you can still causing the charring of the egg. As in this case, the egg omelet turned out very nicely. Uh, the outside of the egg omelet uh, was slightly charred, uh, suggest that uh, you have plenty of heat. The only thing that is that you uh, need to cook it a little bit slower. So how about stir-frying in a wok with non-stick coating? Would it work as well as a wok with natural surface? And the answer is yes and no, because the wok with non-stick coating will not able to get up to the same temperature as a wok with natural surface. First of all, the wok with non-stick coating, the material that's responsible for the non-stick property of the wok actually serve as a shield to prevent the temperature of the wok to get too hot. And uh, if you do let the temperature to rise higher than what is, uh, I would call it, reasonable, then it will cause damage to the non-stick coating. So a wok with non-stick coating is not good for searing uh, the ingredients, and it's particularly true when it comes to searing meat. And for some types of cooking, uh, searing the meat is essential to create a flavor uh, that is important for the dish. 
However, when、uh, you consider、uh, cooking vegetables,、uh, the wok with a nonstick coating actually work very well. So in here, as you can see,、uh, when you stir fry,、uh, in this case, a, a vegetable dish with chicken,、uh, you can see the chicken is not、uh, sear too much, but overall the dish turned out to be well. And you can always compensate、uh, for a dish like this、uh, by creating the type of flavor that's more suitable、uh, for dish like this. And now the only most important concern is that you have to find the right wok spatula、uh, to stir the contents. And the best wok spatula to use、uh, in stir frying in a wok with nonstick coating is spatulas that are made from silicon.、Uh, they are strong enough、uh, to allow you to stir efficiently, but at the same time,、uh, they are soft enough that prevent causing any damage to the nonstick coating.、Uh, according to my friend Lorraine,、uh, she has been stir frying in a wok with nonstick coating、uh, using her silicon wok spatula. Uh, for almost two and a half years, and she told me that、uh, it caused minimum damage, not anything that is visible、uh, to her walk that with nonstick coating.、Uh, so, in summary,、uh, if you、uh, do not mind take a little bit longer to cook、uh, because you cannot use high heat setting of your stove, and、uh, you do not mind that your food is not sear、uh, as you would like them. Then a wok with a nonstick coating would fit the bill. However, for many people who do stir frying, a wok with nonstick coating is just not satisfactory. And the number one is the use of high heat. A stir frying is a very versatile cooking technique, and by adjusting the heat appropriately, you can cook food very fast. And as you、uh, will see on YouTube videos that、uh, stir frying by professional chef, the heat level is、uh, absolutely amazing. I remember the days when I cooked in a Chinese restaurant、uh, when I was in college.、Uh, I used a stove that can put out two hundred and fifty thousand BTU. If you、uh, use a wok with nonstick coating under this kind of cooking conditions. Uh, the nonstick coating will be damaged almost instantly. Another important consideration、uh, about stir frying is uh, uh, how you stir, and it turns out that the best type of、uh, wok spatula is dedicated wok spatula that make from stainless steel.、Uh, they are designed for、uh, most efficient stirring, and they also are very strong, and consequently that their blade. Easily can damage any wok with nonstick coating. For most people who、uh, do stir frying, including myself, one of the most enjoyable aspect of stir frying、uh, is to、uh, stir the content in the wok、uh, during cooking. I find that I garner so much pressure、uh, in stirring、uh, during stir frying with my stainless steel wok spatula. I will be very disappointed. If I cannot use such a tool, in fact, that the inability、uh, to use the stainless steel wok spatula、uh, in a wok with nonstick coating uh, actually uh, caused me to eliminate、uh, to ever use a wok with、uh, nonstick coating.、Uh, another、uh, important consideration of using a wok with nonstick coating is that they can be easily seasoned、uh, to create a nonstick cooked surface. For example, in here,、uh, you can fry an egg、uh, in a wok with a、uh, natural surface、uh, without the egg stick to the surface of the wok. And when you use my、uh, spot seasoning method,、uh, you can season a stainless steel wok、uh, to have a really good、uh, nonstick cook surface. For example,、uh, in here,、uh, after seasoning the wok with my spot seasoning method, which takes only about fifteen seconds.、Uh, This allow me to cook a egg omelet、uh, without ever have to worry it about from being、uh, stuck to the bottom of the wok. So, from my opinion,、uh, cooking in a wok with natural surface,、uh, first of all,、uh, is far more fun, and secondly, because you can reach a higher temperature,、uh, you can sear your food ingredients and therefore provide better flavor. 
Unfortunately, uh, to cook efficiently as well as effectively in a wok with non-stick coating uh, requires significant amount of skills. Learning how to use the spot seasoning method uh, to season wok with natural surfaces is very important. Uh, learning how to clean the wok uh, use my spot cleaning method uh, during cooking will allow you uh, to clean the wok much easier later on when you take it into the sink. Uh, so with a little bit of practice, know-how and understanding, uh, you can uh, use a wok with natural surface as efficiently and effectively uh, as the wok with non-stick coating. Uh, furthermore, it is far more versatile uh, in comparison to a wok with non-stick coating. And therefore, personally, I will never use a wok with non-stick coating. But on the other hand, I do see situations uh, when individuals will find a wok with non-stick coating to be preferential. Uh, I hope this video uh, gives you an overall understanding of the pros and cons of these two different type of woks, uh, so you can make the selection that will fit your situation. Uh, I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routines. Uh, if you want to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.